So, uh, the main goal in this video is to create a uh, good simulation for uh, this sprocket model. We have a very good pro uh, sprocket model, but uh, if uh, you want to create a better simulation, a uh, better numerical model, you need to uh, create some improvements for this model. You need to uh, suppress or delete a uh, small feature, like in the symbols, uh, and like a uh, small uh, chamfer and a small uh, fillet on an external corner, like this, this fillet. Uh, this fillet, this, this, and this. Uh, you need to uh, take this fillet and these fillets because uh, they are on an internal corners and uh, without these fillets you uh, get a stress at the edge without fillets and the stress are very big very high and uh, it's only a uh, numerical error and depends on a uh, mesh size now we uh, go to stress analysis environments and take a look uh, simulation that you create this is your simulation uh, you have created a five lots on the uh, top of the sprocket piece uh, this is Five equal loads, about 800 of newtons each, and uh, you applied it for the H1H at the top of the T's. Uh, also, you create to constrain the pin constraint that you create, you are surprised, and uh, you create an fixed constraint. Uh, you surprised pin constraint because with this constraint you can't uh, get a solution. Uh, that's uh, because uh, your sprocket uh, can rotate and uh, finite element analysis doesn't uh, love when uh, model are moved. So you change it for the fixed constraint and you get a result. Uh, I need to create a recalculation because I suppressed your small feature, some of your small feature. Uh, we have a very coarse mesh and uh, that's why the problem solve very fast. For more accurate result you need to uh, create smaller mesh but uh, you need to understand that uh, in the place uh, of hotspot uh, with smaller mesh you get a very high result and this result depend of uh, mesh size and if you create smaller mesh or smaller or smaller you get a higher and higher and higher stress. Uh, so, uh, when we take a result we see that our maximum stress and near the edge uh, 
near the edge when we applied our load and it's uh, very big let's show our mesh and see you see uh, we have a small mesh near this edge and we have a uh, very big stress as the stress is much higher than uh, allowable for uh, our material for our aluminum but as uh, I said earlier, earlier uh, this is only a numerical error. Let's change the color bar and uh, let's put maximum about 200 MPA like in, uh, we have for aluminum. We see that our maximum is near the uh, applying loss and we see also that we have uh, some maximum at the model. If we need more accurate result we need to change uh, average element size about uh, two or four times uh, to create smaller mesh and more accurate and uh, now we uh, talk about this result we uh, activate safety factor and uh, I change the uh, bottom of color bar to the two that's uh, because our sprocket uh, need to work for a long time and need to work with a uh, dynamical uh, loads so the minimum uh, safety factor that we need to uh, take is about two or three uh, as we see uh, the big part of the of our model have red color so it uh, can't uh, work properly but we have a very big part of the model which have a blue color that means that uh, this part of the model uh, doesn't work but uh, that's not very physical uh, because uh, you have a um, ratchet and uh, uh, this ratchet are created for uh, transfer uh, moments and loads from sprocket to shaft from shaft to uh, sprocket and when you create a fixed constraint for all this uh, cylindrical surface uh, you create a situation where all of this uh, model can't work because it's fixed as it's that is not uh, very physical also when we talk about chain uh, the mass loads are applied for the first T's or for the first three T's and uh, first T's are also have uh, the maximum of loads. So uh, I change the yeah, simulation uh, and create simulation two, where I have only three loads, and uh, the first load are bigger than other. and I uh, redistribute uh, the loads from your T's to these three T's. Also I change a uh, constraint, I uh, unsurprise your pin constraint and I create a fixed constraint for the uh, ratchet 
I know that is not very physical because in most case in Ratchet we doesn't have a uh, situation when we catch all of the surface we uh, have a situation when we have uh, some parts of the surface uh, but uh, this situation you can fix uh, by yourself and uh, also uh, I show something when uh, we go to the simulation number three. So, if we uh, simulate this, model we have a result that uh, are much higher than our previous uh, in previous version uh, that's why hmm. in previous we have about 8000 uh, MPI in here in model we have about 20 uh, but if we uh, activate safety factor and uh, oh sorry and take a look for the model we see that uh, this part have more red so it uh, not it's not good but we have also problem here and here and this is uh, more physical than uh, in previous version but as uh, I say earlier uh, the force which have applied to the one edge it's uh, not physical and uh, must part of the stress we uh, take uh, with a numerical error so we need to redistribute the stress and uh, which kind of redistribution we need to create uh, when sprockets are rock uh, we have a chain that press to our teeth and we have a pressure uh, for big uh, parts of this surface we have a uh, type of bearing load that creates a um, load that are very uh, similar for this uh, distribution. If you need to create a uh, more physical result than bearing load, you need to uh, draw a pin from a chain and uh, solve an uh, simulation with uh, contact now we activate third result in this case we create a bearing lot and uh, we create a bearing lot for all lots but for only one piece when it's solved a uh, can, dem can demonstrate it. so this is our barren lot for this surface and we uh, use XY plane to uh, uh, create a distribution like in real life and uh, I create a fixed constraint for only one uh, part of the ratio 
and if we activate the stress we see that we have a very big stress about 8000 of MPA but uh, if you take a look we have uh, this results not in this part of the sprocket we have this results in a place when we uh, fixed our model so it's a numerical problem too but in real life you have a big stress here too so let's take a look for the safety factor and we see that we have another stress distribution but we have a, a problem in uh, part of the model when we have a uh, problem earlier so uh, I can say that uh, you need to change your design or change your material to uh, some material with a better uh, ultimate stress if you want to uh, create a better solution if you want to create an uh, results that are have a distribution uh, which is uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry for my English uh, so if you want to create a result uh, like in real life you need to uh, create a pin here from the chain you need to uh, create a uh, contact simulation this is our contact and uh, you need to uh, create here part of uh, a construction that uh, fix our sprocket. Uh, there you can uh, get a more accurate result, more physical result. Also you need a change mesh size uh, and uh, create it smaller but uh, as I say you need to uh, suppress small elements uh, of your model because it creates a smaller mesh uh, in those parts that uh, you doesn't need if you need uh, to create a more accurate result for not only uh, for wall model you can uh, create an local mesh control for some surface uh, where you need an accurate result. Thank you for watching and sorry for my English.